All right, all right, all right, listen, listen. Cut the bullshit, cut the bullshit. Does anyone actually care about Brawl? Hello, it is me, or right, expert. We're gonna be playing Brawl. <laughs> um, like, I don't get why this game mode ever became a thing. Like, it was cool for literally a week, and then, like, probably 80% of the player base just stopped doing Brawl fights. Like, why is this a thing? Now, I know if you're new, and you were wondering what the fuck Brawl is, because I guarantee you never looked at it. Brawl is literally a AI PvP, basically. You set up three teams, and you go into Brawl. So I can just show you, right? You set up three teams, and you go into Brawl, and then you'll see this list. You have your rankings on the far left, so I'm in the top 25,000, and you'll see all these different players that are, like, close in rank to you. And what you do is, you ready up against one of them, and you have your three teams set against their three teams. You can switch wherever you want your teams to be. And you just, AI will battle out and see what happens. Why is this a thing? I really do not know. Yeah, you can skip it too. Like, you don't have to watch the battles. You can skip it too. But, like, why is this something that exists in the game in the first place? And I was wondering about it, like, recently. And I'm like... Okay, like Brawl is not a bad game mode. You don't do anything in it. You literally skip five free matches, basically, unless your teams are just horrid. But I looked at the shop and I'm like, okay, we can go to like Challenger. You get some, some five demon mats. That's cute. Some five star XP pots. That's not the worst thing ever, but it's pretty expensive. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then um, I don't even know how many UR chests you can get from this, but I'm assuming not a lot. And then, and then to get to the next category, you have to see the meter at the top. You have to purchase a certain amount of items to get to the next category. So once you purchase 20 items, you unlock the warrior tab. Once you purchase 20 items for challenger, yeah, you go to warrior. And then you get options like, okay, you get three cups, demons and blood or life ones. You get one UR stone, I think. I think that's literally one. You get some enhanced stones, some anvils, and some SSR pendants. I'm like, that's cute. Well, whatever. I mean, sure. But now, you, once you get to the 20, you have to buy another 20 pieces of gear or items to go to the next category, which is Victor. Victor is okay. I mean, you get some decent. You get 30 enhanced materials, which is actually pretty nice. Like, that's really nice when you think about it. You get some a, a 10 UR stones, I believe. Which is one piece of your gear, like pretty much free. And then you get uh, 15 hammers. That's not too bad, but it's pretty bad. For speaking, it's five fucking thousand. We could just, I don't know, run a training grotto or a knighthood boss and get the same results in like half the fucking time. And then you got like a card set. Like this card set is ass. There's nothing in it. Never mind, there's a lot of stuff in it that I don't have. <laughs> but there's nothing really cool, nothing like worth in that, I guess. And that brings me back to, like, why is this a thing? Like, this is, like, a really bad game mode that they have not expanded on since they dropped it. They dropped it fucking around, like, day one time. Maybe when Las Vegas came out, around that rough area is when Brawl came out. And they never did anything with it. They never added things to the shop. They never, like, increased the amount of shit you could buy from the shop. Or nothing. Like, this game mode is just mid as hell. And it's like the only thing worth it here, in my opinion, is the Victor screen, which is your stones and the enhanced materials. The hammers are trash, like 15, like every 2,000 years. Like, no, 5,000 for this. Nigga, no. That, that's a joke. You get like five coins a match. No, nah, I'm not doing that. And then, like, the card set is okay, I guess. Sure, if you need cards, maybe. But, like, this is dog shit. This shouldn't be a thing. And not to mention, like, once you purchase them, right, to reset. You must fulfill the purchase count in order to reset the shop. So you have to buy 80 items in order to reset. That is such a waste of these coins. It's insane. Brawl coins. Like, bro, that's a joke and a half. Like, it's like, I only got 49. I still got to purchase another 31 pieces of gear. From where, bro? You buy three, six, nine. Um, what is this? 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20. You could buy 24 here. And then I gotta go back to this bullshit. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And then something here. Maybe. 31. Somewhere. Yeah, one of these things. But you literally have to buy the entire shop in order to reset it. 
which I guess is kind of like gatekeeping in a way. Because if you were able to just buy these and then reset the shop and then buy them again, I guess that would kind of be an exploit. But who would who would that hurt? Ex fucking enhanced cosmetics, bro. Those things are rare as fuck in the meta. You can only get them from doing deathmatch, which two percent or no, an eight percent chance. No, 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 no. It is a twelve percent chance for a gold box, and in the gold box, it's an eight percent chance to get one cosmetic material. You got me fucked up. Like, that is such bad odds. And then, like, okay, that's cool. Trash, right? You can always do the fucking, what is it called? Let me go look at it real fast. Yeah, this shit right here. The fucking Forbidden Square West. If you have 20 gold coins, you can do this one and get enhanced materials. And usually, you'll end up with at least 30 of each. Maybe more. Like, But at the very least, you'll have 30. Like with actual mathematics i can't really see because i don't have gold coins i'm literally out so i can't even do it if i wanted to unless i summon and i don't want to summon on Mer burn the merlin banner anymore but like this is what i mean your the enhanced materials are so fucking limited to only two activities deathmatch which has a very low drop chance and then this other than that bro i guess you can get it from brawl every fucking two months maybe and then you can get them from um, Tower of Trials once. You can get one. Like you, I think it's like for the Tower of Trials, you maybe get 30 or 60 of them. But it's a one-time thing. You can never do it again. And then besides that, what? Fucking events? Daily logins maybe? And then your dailies, you get one like one of each a day. Like if you don't have the Derriere set, that's even less. Because Derriere guarantees you six random ones a day. If you do all your death matches with one of the derrieres with the valentine outfit in the back i can show you right i'm gonna look at it real fast um it is this shit right where's derriere this outfit the valentine outfit this shit right here i'll tell you one random cosmetic enhanced materials box limit to six a day like fuck that man like it's just bad bro it shouldn't this shouldn't be a thing Anyways, seven minute rant, but um, like that's really much the video. I got nothing else to say. I just want to like put, exploit the fact that Brawl exists for A. B, they haven't touched it since it dropped. And C, they need to at least update the shop to where it's more fucking like tasty, you know? Because like, cool, you can get 30. That's really decent. That's literally one piece of cosmetic. You are cosmetic, but like, bro. It's fucking bad, man. So let's just go ahead and hop in. <laughs> this is an eight-minute rant about how bad the Brawl system is. I haven't even touched on, like, the victory box. Like, this is cute. This is hella cute. And then, like, the Brawl rank rewards, you get certain stuff every, like, hour or so. I don't remember, actually. But, like, it's dog shit, man. It's just dog shit. I hate it with a fucking passion. And yeah, this only counts if you're in top 100. If you're not in top 100, you're not getting shit for points. So, yeah. <clears throat> <sighs> nice rant and all. And this is just all I gotta really say at the end of the day. Update the Brawl game on Man Marvel, please. Nobody's playing it except for like maybe 200 to 500 people out of a pretty massive, like probably a million players play this. Like, on, like I would say there's a million players on the game and there's probably a hundred thousand concurrent players no fifty thousand concurrent players on this game probably active right now they need to just fix bombing anyways though we're gonna go ahead and play um nine minutes and eleven nine minutes eleven seconds into the video we're gonna go ahead and play some fucking brawl so like there's literally nothing else going on with this so i mean you can literally skip the matches if I really wanted to. But I guess I'll watch the first one. And then we'll just skip the rest. But I'll put my Bond going against the Goddess team. And I'll put my Ragnarok team going against the... Um... Fucking Demon team up here. Yeah, sure. And then we just watch it, I guess. And see how bad my AI throws. Because my AI, I had it... Like, I have a custom AI for all of my teams. But for some reason, sometimes the AI just doesn't want to do what I tell it to do. It only happens in like the ReZero team specifically, but it's fine. 
And let's just go in. We got Deanne's Holy Relic. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know what video is about to come out later. I still need to get Brunhild. I don't have Brunhild's Holy Relic because I don't do bird enough. I have Sigurd, so I could do a video on Sigurd, actually. But nah, I'm gonna probably do Deanne first, actually. But yeah, this is my AI team for Brunhild. It kind of max everything at this point because Brunhild is a broken out of the unit. And we got the extort on your boy Sigurd into the weak point card into just some random attack. Theoretically. No, he can't kill me. Right, because Deanne Relic is built different, so he literally can't kill me if he wanted to. Like, bro, it's just not good, man. They need to update this at some point in life. Like, for a PvP centric game that Net Marble made right here Seven Deadly Sins, Green Cross, The Battles Dark and Light, whatever the fuck it's called, Grokko. For a PvP centric game such as this, they really don't care about their PvP. Right? And I say this because, like, look, the Bond meta is fucking outrageous man they need to stop giving humans such treatment when i don't know fairies never been meta you probably had king meta for like a month and then you know he got countered immediately by the next festival character which was fucking traitor meliotis i think or, or something like that and then like that's cute there like that was the only fairy that was meta OG Fast King was never meta. The man never touched meta except for his one month that he was a festival character. He did decent damage, but at the time he didn't have a lane or like the Blue Hawk Oslo or, or anything like that. He only had Hendrickson because he came out with Hendrickson. And like that was a shit team, to be honest. Hendrickson's stats are dog shit, even back then. But like, it's a joke, bro. Everything this game is going for is a joke in PvP. Like, fairies don't get no time to shine. Giants, oh boy, do we even want to talk about giants? The only quote-unquote meta giant in PvP is DN, the festival one, and I guess Ragnarok DN. But Ragnarok DN isn't playing on a giant team, it's playing on a Ragnarok team. The festival DN ain't playing only on Oat Rush team, she doesn't really benefit from giants. And then like, oh, the wolf, ho the wolf holy relics, like, gave Giants Holy Relics, and Matrona can give Giants 25% base stat. They still fucking suck, man. Like, they're really good, they're really tanky, and they do okay damage, except for the end, she hits like a truck with Matrona's Relic. But it doesn't change the fact that it's still a bad team to run in general. Like, oh my god, he has 500,000 HP, like 30,000 defense, and 30,000 attack, something along that line. Bro, a melee was still one shot. A Bond will one-shot, a fucking Esterosa or Merlin will obliterate Giants. Like, bro, they never got their time to shine. And then we can go to fucking, what's their face? Unknowns are getting, like, some sort of love recently with all these collab characters and Merlin. Like, the Unknowns are starting to get a little bit more love than they usually do, which I like. But right now, it's just like, bro, all these different races are getting, like, this game is being race-gated, if I want to put it like that. Like, I'm tired of using all goddesses, all demons, all certain characteristic characters. Bro, give me a character, like Merlin, for example. You can use her on any team. Her passive is not gated by race or, like, a certain type of ally. Give me more characters like that, and I will have a good time in PvP. I don't know about the next motherfucker, but I don't like running teams like that that are literally race oriented I fucking hate it it's meta and it's I just don't enjoy it as a game like sure Esterosa is a fun team you can wipe anyone you want but imagine right you're not that Esterosa you go second and you have to face that Esterosa knowing you're gonna die in two turns what the fuck are you supposed to do about that kill Esterosa oh guess what he has a Tarmio link so that's not going to happen as easy as you think it would. Good job, Reinhardt. I'm proud of you. And then, like, bro, it's just not fun, man. Like, the PvP meta... Like, okay, if you were following my channel way back when, when I first started doing Green Cross, you know how I feel about PvP, but I highly doubt any of y'all even watched my videos past two minutes. 
Like, I'm not fucking surprised. I don't get... I get views all the time. But my watch time is always in the two minutes area range. When I be making 20 minute, 30 minute, 40 minute videos. All this content. Like, it's just not good for my health, man. I make all this content and no one actually watches it. So now I'm just like, well, that's cute. And it's cool. I got my community friends and stuff like that. Like Vader, Assaultful, Dark Trinity, Yaya, Rigatoni, um, Fuck. In Afrikuma and like other people in the Grand Cross community, but like none of that is cool. Like, okay, let me put it like this it's all cool. I love all of them people, they're all really good people, and y'all should go subscribe to them, obviously. But like, bro, it's not helping me as a channel, right? Because my views are solely based on the other YouTubers that play the game as well. I'm not really getting good algorithm, like, play at all, really. <clears throat> like, I'm, nothing's gonna happen for me with that going on. And yeah, sure, I can get, like, a few hundred videos, or a few hundred views on a video. Shit, I even get a thousand videos from time to time, or a thousand views on my video from time to time. But it doesn't help the channel that much, because those videos with a thousand views will literally have 30 seconds of watch time. And I'm just like, bro, I put all this effort into making these 20 minute videos. No one's watching the full video. So now I'm just like, why do I need to make 20 minute videos? I would better off be making these five minute videos really nice, condensed. I use a team, I play one match, and I tell you to use it. And apparently, that'll have better watch time than my actual video, according to my statistics on YouTube. Like, it's just, I don't know, man. I enjoy YouTube as a hobby. I'm not saying it's a career. This is a career choice I want to have. This is literally just a solid hobby because I enjoy gaming and I enjoy experiencing gaming with friends and I enjoy sharing my experience to people. And I guess that also goes to me wanting to do YouTube because that way I can put my experiences in gaming out there to the people for people to actually like like and see like oh yeah that's pretty neat you did that you oh you killed him that one time that was pretty fun but like it's just not what I'm looking for anymore like at this point I love my channel again I can't express this more I love my channel I love the people on my channel and I love the community that I'm in but it's just the fact that I don't know, man. There's something about it that's just not clicking in my head, and I just don't like it. I don't know, man. This is really just a whole rant video at this point. It went from a bra rant to my YouTube rant to a Grand Cross rant to a PvP rant. Listen, man. No one's gonna watch this video, so I'm really out here talking to myself when I say this. So it really doesn't matter what I say after the five minute mark. But, like. Yeah, man. Grand Cross. Let me just break it down for you. Fix PvP, make it more enjoyable and a lot less meta. That'll be nice. Give us more fun um, challenges, foreign rules. Bring back the fucking rule where you can use more than one character on the same team. So I can run triple DN or some bullshit. Bring back fun rules, please. Instead of all these meta rules. Because the one rule with a 30% single target shit, Reinhardt's a menace. You cannot do anything about that. He is an actual menace to society with that rule. Oh, I actually went second. Interesting. Like, bring back some fun rules, bring back fun PvP. Fucking update Brawl, please. There's nothing going on with it. Have something happen to it for such a PvP-centric game. Y'all really just neglecting one of y'all crazy mid-ass game modes. And it could be better if you just, you know, expanded on it. And all this good stuff. Like, please, do something about this fucking game. It's good. It is, in my opinion, the best gacha game out there. But it doesn't fucking do anything. There's nothing in this game that's actually worth calling this the best gacha game. Like, cool. The summons are fucking amazing. You can get pity on every banner. There is no such thing as a non-pity banner. The gems are pretty plentiful. You can maybe get 30 a week <clears throat> without PvP. 
so you'd probably get like 50 to 60 a week if you really was playing, playing, like doing all of the content. But the content's fucking boring, bro. You're doing PvE against these enemies with 200 HP when you have 300,000 HP, 30,000 attack. What the fuck you want to do with that? Fucking rub tinsels together? Like, bro, there's nothing here. And trust me, I love the hell out of this game. Grand Cross is a game I will be playing on this channel until the end of time, until they eventually shut it down. Until they shut it down, this game will be uploaded every fucking day, except for, you know, Sunday and Monday. <clears throat> but you know, we're just not expanding enough, bro. We're still here, wondering why things are happening the way they are, when in reality, it's not our fault, it's net money. But yeah, man. This is a nice little rant video. We're gonna get done with this smash right here. I mean, we might lose actually. So we might have to go to the Zero team actually. Go off my Stigo. That's fair. My Reinhardt might not kill though. The 6-6. Six, six. It's possible. Does he get stats? Oh, he's immortal this turn. Does he get stats? He gets evade. Okay, well, fuck. Do I have my back my Gelda? What the hell? There's no way I kill, but I do get stats. So I'm on. I don't know. Beautiful. I did, but Bond, I'm mainly my white. <clears throat> She's not gonna kill my Reinhardt or nothing, but you might kill Bond, maybe, possibly. Or not. Beautiful. I'll take it. Bond's gonna kill him now. The Bond six six. What is that merge? What the fuck? Okay, that's something I need to fix in the AI. He's merging cards for some reason. That's something I do not want him to do. So I'm gonna have to go to my AI and fix that. But yeah, man. They just need to fix Grand Cross as a game. That's all I really gotta say. There's nothing, or not even like, Grand Cross community needs to change at some point. Y'all keep listening to these bigger YouTubers like Nagato and shit like that when they're just fucking brain dead actual autism and they don't know what they're talking about half the time. But, yeah, man. Just enough talking about big YouTubers. I still love Nagato's content. He's a good street YouTuber, a good content creator. He's just a little slow at times and it hurts. It hurts a lot. <laughs> but, yeah, man. Fix Brawl, fix PvP. Make it more enjoyable and a lot less meta. And, you know, I might actually, you know, make some fun teams here and there. Because I have... <clears throat> I have the best fucking team ideas in history. Period. I don't care what nobody says. The teams I can find in this game are insane. But the fact that they're gatekeeped by meta or non-festival is just stupid. Or collab. <sighs> Whatever, man. This game was fun while it lasted. <laughs> I'm still going to play it, regardless. I don't really care. I love Seven Deadly Sins as a fucking franchise, so I'm going to play this game. But it doesn't change the fact that Grand Cross for me is just pissing me off mentally. They're not doing enough, really. They're making all this money, and they're just not doing enough for the game. And yeah, I know. This video is going to get five views. No one's going to make it past five seconds of this video. So I'm really out here talking to myself. But like, bro, someone, please, if you watch this video... To its fullest. Just fucking tell me how you feel about Grand Cross. PvP. Not PvE. PvE is a fuck fest in its own way. That's besides the point. Tell me how you feel about PvP in the meta. Please. If you really did watch it this far. But, yeah, man. I'll see you on the next video, man. If it's even fucking long. Peace.